So chances are you know a lot of chords and you know a lot of scales, but you might not know how to mix it all together in a cohesive way to write music or make a jam that has direction in it. So there's a couple ways to do that. One is to stick to chords that are diatonic to the key. So for example, in the key of C, the chords are C, D minor, E minor, F major 7, G7, A minor, B half diminished, and C. So if you make a chord progression with all of those chords, it would sound something like this. You can put that on a loop, and you can play a C major over all of that stuff. So that's fine, but the thing, the thing is with that is it doesn't really feel like it goes anywhere. And how do you take it to other places without getting too complicated or maybe just having to poke around with your ear and find something? There's a few easy ways to do that. And one of them is to take the chords from a parallel mode. So if, if we're working in the key of C major, you can take chords from C minor and freely interchange those with the C major chords. So the chords in C minor, our C minor, D half diminished, E flat, F minor, G minor, A flat, B flat seven, and C minor. So some notable chords out of C minor that work really well with C major are the E flat, the A flat, and the B flat. And you can go back to C with that. So if we do a progression that has four chords in the key of C major, and then do a follow it by chords in the key of C minor, let's do four bars, but we'll do just three chords, you can make a progression that sounds something like this. Here now it goes to a new place. And when you solo over it, you might think, oh, if the chords are in a different key, it's confusing to solo, but you can just do a C major scale followed by a C minor scale, and it would sound like this. So we'll go, here's C major. C minor. You see how it, it kind of opens up a new place for the progression to go and when you really start experimenting with it it's going to open up a lot of new ideas for you and you're going to feel like you're not really stuck in the same box of playing the same chords so you can do an easy an easy progression like that where you're doing four chords in c major four chords in c minor and alternate c major to c minor it's pretty easy to understand but you can also switch a little more quickly between the two modes so if you do a progression that's, let's say, C major, and just go straight to E flat, so that'd be taking a chord from minor, then let's go to B flat, we'll do B flat over D, and then we'll do maybe F, and that chord, F is from the key of C major. So if you mix that up, you might get something like this, let's see, three, four, Flavor. It's like it has this kind of pull to it, and you can do the same thing with mixing major to minor. So 
hopefully that was helpful for you. If you're interested in learning anything else, let me know. Um, I'll be here making videos. I want to help you guys in your guitar journey. And uh, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.